what's up collective what's going on with y'all what y'all got going on let's get into the early tea message happy saturday everybody let's get a message for october 21st saturday even though this is titled for october 21st saturday whenever you come across it is when it may resonate with you okay let's get into the early tea spirit is telling me to use this deck over here sorry y'all i'm getting an alert i got so much going on over here but i am being told to pull from this so that's what we're gonna do all righty this is the season of the witch deck i'm being told to pull from this today so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> Father God, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, all that protect and guide me of the highest bright light. I call out to you during this time. I ask that you cover, shield, protect, and bless my energy as I channel these messages for the collective. I also ask that you cover, shield, protect, and bless those that are watching for their highest good. Father God, thank you for giving us clear and accurate messages today. What is it that we need to know the most? This is from my divine collective. What is it that they need to know today? What messages do you have for the divine collective today? What's up? I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. Live it up, okay? Hope everybody's enjoying their October. All right. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get some messages. Okay, so we have Coven. Number nine, I am you and you are me. When we come together, we are all we seek, okay? All right, so I'm getting unity. I'm getting friendship. I'm getting partnership, okay? I'm getting a community, okay? Molasses, to move forward, you must know where you are headed. Number 26, somebody here could be a life path seven, a life path number nine, Somebody here could be born in September. Some of you could be born in August. Some of you could be born on the 9th of the month, uh, the 26th of the month, or the 8th, okay? Some of you could be born on the 13th. Some of you could be born on the 4th, okay? But we have, some of you could also be a life path number four. We also have elderberries, okay? There it is, a knowing within bone, allow it to guide you. Okay, I also feel like a lot of y'all could be developing some sort of new skills here. Um, my collective, those of you that are gifted, right? Um, and you are tapping, you are tapping into like your psychic abilities and things like that. You're about to definitely develop like a new gift. Okay, like you're about to unlock. I should say unlock. Okay, I'm here. You're about to unlock a new gift. Okay, something significant about um, mushrooms. Okay mushrooms and berries okay elderberry is very healing right you guys know like even like the gummies are really good too like if you take like apple cider vinegar and elderberry gummies and stuff like that like i even got some melatonin that has elderberry in it um or sea moss with elderberry right that's like the purple sea moss so i'm getting here that you and you're healing yourself from the inside out like so a lot of you could be doing like a lot of um like self-care okay healing from the inside out collective healing from the inside out all right really taking care of your vessel any more messages from this deck spirit any more messages okay we got witch's rosary craft your skills with intentions repeat it a practice of magic powered by purpose. I told you, y'all tapping in. Y'all are tapping in. Uh, somebody here could be 26 years old. Some of y'all could be 43. You could be between ages of 26 and 43. Okay. Somebody here could also be, um, uh, did I say that already? No. Somebody here could be a life path number seven. Somebody here could be born on the seventh. Okay. Somebody here definitely said that. Um, hmm. 
yeah somebody here could be born in july september august okay april all right january but i'm telling you you are really 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 embracing your true power okay you're embracing i, I want to call y'all witches okay but i know not everybody like that term but you're embracing your um your power period you're magical you are magic i'm hearing that you are magic okay and you're perfecting your craft here okay a lot of y'all could be cleansing y'all space because if you see you know there's like a sage bundle okay there's like a smudge stick here um there's a journal here there's like a cauldron over here a chalice a lot of candles you know this woman is sitting in prayer she's meditating she has her white candles surrounding her she's um definitely cleansing her space uh really you know bringing positivity into her space this is someone here that is uh working with white candles which is also for like um you know purity right cleansing one space this is for like um you know calming your environment this is you grounding yourself getting into meditation some of you may be working with like singing bowls but this is really giving me this energy that you're grounding yourself and you're really using you know certain divination tools and you know just can some of you could be getting into like candle magic as well candle work but you also could have the energy of an owl okay so something significant about owls some of you may be even you may even have the privilege of seeing an owl okay like that's beautiful those of you that's actually connected with owls and you actually able to see an owl that's amazing the owl is actually literally you know my spirit animal we got an owl right here you know like i'm just telling you like i love owls i have owl fixtures okay all over owls is, is is that's that's my thing so some of y'all may really feel connected to owls as well or like i said you could be experiencing something with an owl okay maybe you can you you hearing owl sounds right or you actually seeing an owl like something here significant about the owl okay slow your heart and move gently into coming to self yeah and we just we literally just um had a harvest moon right right before our um what was it yeah the harvest moon just passed yes it did yes it did yeah right before this eclipse we had a harvest moon we sure did so something significant about the harvest moon a lot of y'all could have had like an upgrade okay some sort of reset okay a boost in your energy some of you could be feeling like you know more grounded now after this harvest moon but it says slow your heart and move gently into the coming of self yeah it's like i'm telling you you're rebirthing yourself didn't i just say you're rebirthing you you you're being rebirth okay you're being reborn rebirth lord have mercy lord help me out spirit help me but y'all know what I'm trying to say. You being reborn, okay? You birthing a new self, a newer version. It's okay. It's giving me the energy of a shake, uh, shedding its skin, okay? A butterfly, transformation, you know, something significant about moths as well. But I just said you birthing something new and it says for the birth of something new to manifest the death of something holding you back is inevitable. So a lot of y'all definitely have been releasing you know things from the past okay a lot of y'all definitely died right and i mean that in the sense of like the you that was before no longer is okay like a lot of y'all definitely went through a major transformation especially during this harvest moon i feel like this harvest moon that passed that just passed was like a total reset i'm telling you like a total switch here for y'all like y'all are coming into y'all higher selves like it, there's a new version of you being born okay but in order for this to in order for this birth to happen for something new to manifest you had to make a sacrifice you had to release something that was holding you back okay so a lot of y'all cut ties with you know certain people places things um habits right ways of thinking Y'all had to like dead a lot of shit. Y'all had to get rid of a lot of shit. Close cycles out with a lot of different things. 
because you knew that you was about to have an upgrade you knew that you was being um rebuilt here restored you knew that you was about to be birthed into a newer version a better version a higher version of yourself your frequency has changed for many of y'all collective my divine collective you on a whole different frequency right now you have elevated okay there has been a major shift here for y'all i'm telling you you're not in the same frequency that you was in before this uh harvest moon that just passed you're not and y'all feel it. You can't tell me you don't feel it. Because I know I do. I can always feel when my frequency changes. Y'all definitely feel it. Ooh, Collective, you had a reboot, baby. <laughs> y'all are doing it right now. I'm telling you. Y'all are on fire right now. I love it. I love this energy for y'all. I love this energy for us. Okay? Let me... um. I want to pull from that other deck. Where is it? Where's that deck at? I know where I, what I want to pull from because those cards are going to speak to me for this message. I know that for a fact. But if I can't find that deck, I'm going to be sad. Damn, where is that deck? right here i'm like uh -uh, i know what i want to use definitely know what i want to use today okay this is one of my favorite decks y'all this is like my personal deck but i feel like it's gonna be good for me to use this today with this message all right all right, y'all, let's get into it. Um, yeah. The moon card, okay? We got the moon. And I just saw the ten of cups. Okay, very nice. That ten of cups in this deck as well is this woman being pregnant. So, again, birth is something new. And I just saw the Ten of Cups. I'll show y'all it when it comes back out. Because I know for a fact it's going to come back out. Um, but the Ten of Cups in this deck, the woman is pregnant. That's literally you. That's literally symbolic of you birthing something new. Some of y'all may actually physically be pregnant as well. Congratulations to my Divine Feminist. I told you it was going to come back out. She's pregnant in this deck. She's birthing something new. Creation. Um... But yeah, y'all definitely are pregnant right now. Some of my divine feminines, you actually physically pregnant. Like I said, congratulations, baby. And then others of you, you're pregnant as well, okay? But just not with a baby. You're pregnant with, you know, a new beginning here. Yeah, nine of cups, you're very happy. This is you being very happy, okay? Really happy, really comfortable in your own skin. I also feel like y'all are embracing your your vessels, your bodies, okay? Feeling free. I can't really show y'all all the cards in this deck because there's some nudity, okay? But I'm telling you, like, y'all are definitely comfortable in your skin. Those are my divine feminines out there that are actually pregnant right now. You look beautiful. You're glowing. You're radiating. Okay. You know how some people pregnancy really work for them and they look better. And there are other people that kind of like look tired, drained, and maybe having, you know, their body just be swollen everywhere. You know, just don't be feeling good. Don't be looking good. Nah, not y'all. My divine collective, those feminists out there that's gonna come across this message that are actually pregnant right now, y'all look good. Okay, and y'all out here showing y'all bellies. Okay, you walking around the house just showing your belly, you walking outside, putting on beautiful outfits here, embracing your belly. It's giving me that energy of Rihanna when she was pregnant. You know when Rihanna was pregnant, she was walking around with her belly just out, you know, just absolutely looking beautiful like the empress that she is. Yeah, we got the king of cups here, okay? Collective page of swords. So there's somebody that's watching you. Okay, this person is in love with you. Somebody here has strong feelings for you. This person could be in love with you here, but they watching you. King of Cups is watching you. Somebody here could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person could also be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody here has strong water, strong air in their chart. But somebody here is in love, feeling you, and watching you, okay? 
Yeah. This person wants you to notice them. They feel like they watching you, but you may not be aware or, or you don't notice them. This is somebody that feels like you're too focused on investing in yourself. Some of you have multiple masculines that's watching you, my divine feminines. I'm picking up on multiple masculines here. I have a king of pentacles, a king of cups, and a king of swords. Some of you can have an earth sign, air sign, and water sign all watching you at this time. Yeah, ace of swords, that's the truth. Yo, my divine feminines out there, okay? I'm telling you, like, you really, <laughs> you got the juice, okay? You got the sauce, okay? Ace of swords, that's the fucking truth. Like, if somebody want to come towards you passionately, knight of wands. I'm telling you, this person could be a Leo. They could have strong Leo in their chart, okay? It's a water sign, an earth sign, or an air sign, but they could have strong water in it. I mean, they could have strong Leo in their chart. Could have strong water in their chart for me to say that, but definitely strong Leo placements. But this is just somebody that's brave, okay? I'm getting a lot of bravery here. Somebody here that's brave, that's very confident, that wants to come towards you. But there's multiple people here watching you, multiple masculines that are interested in you because you're an empress. I can't make it up. You are an empress, okay? And there's multiple masculines here that is, they're checking for you, empress. They checking for you, empress, okay? I'm telling you. Why is the justice in the reverse here, though? This is multiple masculines checking for you, empress, okay? But they feel like you're protecting yourself and you don't want to be bothered. Somebody here feels like you ain't trying to be bothered. Yeah, because they are emperor in the reverse. That's why you don't want to be bothered. We got an emperor in the reverse and we got a devil in the reverse. You damn right that you don't want to be bothered by this person. Ace of Cups. Hierophant. There's somebody that wants to come towards you because they know that they can have stability with you. But this is someone that you feel like is toxic. A lot of y'all feel like this person is toxic and you need to avoid them. A lot of you feel like this person could be very controlling, okay, very arrogant, very self-serving, very into themselves. And this is not somebody that y'all want to build with. But whoever this is, they want you to give them a chance. With the Ace of Cups, this is someone that has an offer for you, okay? And they feel like they can have a lot of stability with you, but y'all not feeling this person. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This is somebody that want to talk to y'all. Yeah, y'all don't want this person. Three of Wands in the reverse. For some of you in the past, you could have wanted this person. Some of y'all may have even been anticipating an offer from this person. But it looks like now that they actually want to give you an offer, you want something new. You don't want them. This person wants you, though. Death in the reverse. This is somebody from your past that's wanting you. But with the Ace of Wands, you focused on something new, collected. Some of y'all... Y'all are just really focused on something new. This past person, this is not somebody that y'all are um, interested in anymore. Yeah, you're not. Four cups in a reverse here. Will of Fortune in a reverse. It's like something here is going on in this person's life where they could be now realizing how much they actually do care for you. But you don't want this person. Y'all don't want this person. Yeah, Will of Fortune in a reverse. Y'all do not want this person. And you, you coming into union with a, with a soulmate here. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the Six of Wands because this woman is um, nude on this card too. But with the Lovers card here and the Six of Wands, you're getting good news, okay? You're receiving good news when it comes to the positive choices that you've been making in your life, okay? But it's also you receiving good news when it comes to your love life. Okay, and whoever this is from the past that's going through something that's now realizing that they want you, you don't want this person. Collective, you absolutely beautiful. You just keep getting finer and finer. Ooh, child. Some of y'all just keep looking better and better and better and better. It's like you just getting finer and finer, Collective. I'm really seeing that. Like something here about your appearance. You know, I'm hearing that you always been fine, but you ain't been like this fine. Like something here. That's that's what that healing do. Okay, that's what that healing do. And I told you a lot of y'all are taking y'all herbs and y'all eating better, y'all eating clean, working out, being active, really healing your vessel. Okay, healing yourself from the inside out. Yeah, and you, girl, let me tell you something. You so abundant, Queen of Pentacles. Y'all embody all the queens here. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, okay? The Queen of Swords. Like, you embody all the queens here. You so beautiful. You so abundant. Your career is booming. Your finances is 
up on the up and up. Because you're an empress. The empress is someone that's abundant. The empress can't lose. You know what I'm saying? Like the empress is always going to be out here. And look at that. Queen of Pentacles came out. And right after the Queen of Pentacles, y'all won't believe it. King of Pentacles. So you manifesting somebody that is like on the same type of time as you. Okay? Knight of Cups. This person going to come too. They coming towards you, child. Mm. This King of Pentacles has been showing up a lot in the readings, y'all. Y'all know this King of Pentacles has been showing up a lot in the readings. This is somebody else, child. This is the new, this is the new, new. Okay? For some of you, this is somebody new. Some of you, it's a Sagittarius or an Earth sign. Maybe somebody with strong Sag or Earth in their chart. But this is who's coming towards you. Yep. Somebody here know you're single and they want you and they want you now. They want you now. You're their wish fulfillment. They said that's the one. For some of you, this person could be a Virgo as well. I told you it could be an Earth sign. Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Somebody here is like, I know that the collective is single and the collective is the Divine Feminine. Okay, this Nine of Pentacles card is literally the Divine Feminine. That's the energy from this card. Okay, and with the Four of Wands, you are their wish fulfillment. They want to come into union with you. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands here. There's a... Aries, Aquarius, or Pisces that's crying over y'all or that's disappointed and a lot of regret. This person's mad because they can't get in touch with you or you block them. They not in, you can't get in contact with them. You're being protected from this person or you're not supposed to be speaking to this person. I told you there's multiple people here, but whoever that is, that person showing up as the full reverse and the moon card. This is somebody that has a lot of secrets, okay? A lot of things that's hidden with them. Okay, this is somebody that's impulsive, selfish, a lot of like um, instant gratification here when it comes to this person. This person don't really take other people's feelings into consideration. They just do what's best for them. And, you know, how. however it, it affects people that love and care for them, you know, they don't really fucking care. That's not their concern, you know. So very arrogant, childish energy here. Whoever that is, that's somebody that can't get in touch with you or, you know, you block them. You're not talking to them. You're being protected from that person, though. Whoever that is, y'all being protected from that person. Spirit don't want you talking to that person. Yep. You made a decision here. A lot of y'all made a decision because you felt like there was no equal give and take. Two of wands to the two of cups in the reverse. And this was the best thing that you could do for yourself because you feel much more at peace. You feel way happier now. Yeah, y'all feel happier now. You release that burden. I'm telling you, whoever that is that I just picked up on that's coming through, this person was a burden for you, energetically speaking, because a lot of y'all wasn't actually physically dealing with this person. But this was somebody that was energetically a burden for you because this is somebody that was real strong in your energy. It's like y'all was attached to each other energetically. But this is somebody that, you know, you released. Again, with that Reaper energy, for the birth of something new to manifest, the death of something holding you back is inevitable. For a lot of you, it was your attachment, your energetic attachment to this person that had to go. And now that it that it has gone, you're so much happier. The Ten of Wands in the reverse to the sun, you're so much happier. And now you got newness, Ace of Pentacles. Now you birthing something new. You're pregnant. Like I said, you're pregnant. You're birthing something new. Ace of Pentacles. This is the new, the new ish coming. New opportunities, new blessings, new love, new everything. I'm hearing all new everything. Okay? All new everything. You released what was holding you back. You released what was blocking you. This shit was blocking you in many areas of your life. You holding on to this person energetically, this person holding on to you energetically, that shit was blocking a lot in your life, collective. You should be very proud of yourself that you let this go. Yeah, the king of wands in the reverse. For some of you, this person could have been a fire sign. But the king of the king of wands in the reverse, that's somebody that is um like a player. Okay, so this is somebody that was never going to truly invest in you or do right by you, you know, and you releasing this energetic tie to them. It got you moving forward in the right direction. This person could have been a fire sign or a cancer for some of you. Or you could be a fire sign or a cancer. Take it as it resonates. But for some of you, this person definitely was a player here. That's that's just the end or be or. That's what I'm seeing. I said what I said. King of Wands in reverse. 
But this is what was keeping you stuck. I just told you this is what was blocking you, keeping you stagnant here. Okay? Yeah, you have to set yourself free, baby. You had to go within for source energy. You really had to do some some dig deep and some soul searching. And you had to set yourself free for this. You had to set yourself free from this. Okay, you was doing a disservice to yourself by holding on to this person. And this person holding on to you as well was causing, you know, a lot of discomfort for you and a lot of stagnancy. I'm hearing that the blockage on your life has been removed. So a lot of y'all had blockages in your life in multiple areas, okay? Especially when it came to your career. Some of you are going to see a major increase or a boost in your career, your business endeavors, because you're not energetically connected to this person anymore. The tower. I can't make it up. The fucking tower. You're being set free. She's naked, so I'm going to cover it. But you're being set free. It's like you're suspended in the air. You're being set free here. The tower. The tower, you're being set free here. And whoever this person is, they were working together with a high priestess in the reverse anyway. Which is another reason why it could have been such a struggle to release yourself from this person. Five of Wands. But with the world card and the tower, this cycle is completely closed off. It's, it's closed. It's closed off. It's over. It's complete. It's done. Look at that. We got the tower and the world coming out together, y'all. The tower and the world. This is for neat, though. But I'm telling you, there was a high priestess in the reverse that was working together with this person. And that's what was keeping you uh, stuck, keeping you blocked. Somebody here could have literally been doing work on you um, and work on this person. Or this person could have been getting somebody to do work for them to keep you connected to them. Yeah, the hermit. Somebody here could have been a Virgo. But now somebody heartbroken. Yeah, multiple people here working together. Somebody here heartbroken. I'm hearing somebody here could be heartbroken because they can't manifest off of your energy anymore. Wow. Yep, that was an injustice. What was what was being done to you was an injustice. And now you're being set free. You get to you being set free, baby. And you're going right to the Ten of Cups, okay? Abundance, prosperity, happiness, okay? Yes, you're being set free. You see things clearly now. Yeah. And now whoever this is, they got the nerve to want to come back. I'm telling you, we got the Eight of Cups reversed, Six of Swords reversed, Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Wands. This person is now burdened. Now they're weighed down. Now they're drained. Now they're burdened. Now they want to come set up shop with you. They want to come talk to you. They want to come kick it with you. You can't trust this person, a magician in the reverse. I'm telling you, this is somebody that is blocked. They go that eight of wands in reverse again. This person can't get a hold of you. For some of you, you could have blocked this person. You're ignoring them. You changed your number. You relocated. But whatever it is, the person is blocked off. They're blocked off and you're healing and you're celebrating. You have healed. You have overcome a deep betrayal here that's associated with this person. You have overcame a deep betrayal, y'all. This person really betrayed y'all. That They really hurt y'all. They really put you in a dark space here. But not anymore. You celebrate it now. It's only up from here. Child, you got the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Like, y'all really out here getting it. You going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles Collective. You going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles Collective. Oh. Oh. It's all about you, baby. Divine feminines, divine masculines, if you resonate with this as well, then it's for you. Take the message as it resonated, but y'all are really out here. Y'all really released hope. Y'all really released something that was weighing y'all down, holding y'all back. And for many of you, it was a person energetically holding on to somebody and this person just draining you from a distance, just draining your energy from a distance, just Having you stuck, having your life stuck, you know, it's only but so far you could get. You're making progress, but then it's blocked. You're making progress, but then you feel like you're taking some steps back. You're taking five steps forward, then you feel like you done took ten back. You know, you can't, you can't, like, come, like, come on. You can't do this, you can't do that. You're trying, you're trying, you're trying. Child, your hard work is now paying off. I'm hearing that there's going to be an influx. There's, it's going to feel like shit is happening overnight for you. But it's not that it's happening overnight. It's just that it's long overdue. You understand me? <laughs> it's not that it's happening overnight. It's just that it's long overdue. It's going to feel like it's happening overnight. But that's not what it is. It's just long overdue. A lot of y'all wasn't even aware 
that your energetic, this energetic cord between you and this person was actually taking a lot from your abundance, from your energy, from your, a lot of y'all wasn't even aware of this. I feel like you're aware now and this is your confirmation, but I feel like while it was happening, some of y'all wasn't even aware that, you know, you being energetically connected to this person was, um, just draining you, okay? Like really draining you, just really blocking you. You know, some of y'all still out here just doing what y'all need to do, working and loving yourself and healing as you should, but you didn't realize where the blockages was coming from. This delayed success is over. I'm hearing the delayed success is completely over. It's over now. It's over. Okay, so embrace your new beginning and embrace all the success that you are about to experience, that you are about to witness. You're about to witness your ass go from here to fucking up here. Like the shit gonna be a drastic. <laughs> it's gonna be like a drastic upgrade, man. Congratulations, collective. I love y'all. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, babies. Peace.